हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्राइस यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज स्कॉलरश एग्जाम स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ ऑनलाइन क्लास सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स एंड द टॉपिक इज फ्रैक्शन सो इन दिस वन द फ्रैक्शन लाइक अनलाइक कंपेरिंग एंड एसेंडिंग एंड डिसेंडिंग विच इज इन अवर नोन इट डाइजेस्ट एज अ ए फिर मीन्स फ्रैक्शन ए इज डिनोटिंग दिस इज अ एक्सरसाइज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट वन वे आर गोइंग टू सी सो दिस इज अवेलेबल ऑन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी फाइव सो बिफोर गोइंग टू दिस एक्सरसाइज देर आर द सॉल्ड एग्जाम्पल सो दैट वे आर गोइंग टू जस्ट मेक अ ओवर व्यू फॉर पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी फोर सो देर इज अ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विच ऑफ द फ्रैक्शन थ्री बाय फोर थ्री बाय थर्टीन थ्री बाय इलेवन एंड देन थ्री बाय एट इज द ग्रेटेस्ट so in this one uh, if you see all the numerators are the same means every fractions have the numerator is the same means 3 so then we have to compare on a denominator basis and the denominator number is greater means fraction is smaller okay so and uh, we have to choose the greatest one means the denominator number should be smaller one that we have to choose so in this one 3 by 4 means 4 is a smaller than the others one so that's why 3 by 4 means option number 1 is the correct now question number 2 in which of the following sets is the fraction is ascending order ascending means from the smaller to the bigger one so that order we have to choose so there are the option number 1 so if you see the numerators and the denominators so numerators value from 13 and 20 and then 11 and then 16 means the numerator value as not in perfectly order either in ascending or either in descending okay so if you see the denominator that one also not pr properly in order means uh, neither in uh, ascending or neither nor in uh, ascending okay so means 14 then 21 and then 12 uh, and then 17 means that is a not in perfectly order so that's why uh, um, option number 1 we could not be judged okay then option number 2 11 then uh, next numerator is 20 then next numerator is 13 and again the 16 so same that like a uh, uh, option number 1 numerator and the denominator values are not in perfectly order we can say so on overview we could not judge that this is in ascending order so this is not in perfectly in ascending or we can say this is not in descending Order. but if you see the option number 3 the numerator values are always been increasing means 11 then 13 then 16 then 20 and same the denominator value means 12 then 14 then 17 and then 12 20, 21 so that all means numerator also in ascending and the denominator also in ascending means both are then ascending order means that fractions are also are also in ascending order so that's why the option number 3 is a correct now question number 3 which of the fractions 3 by 4 5 by 8 11 by 16 then 27 by 32 is the smallest now this is very important so everywhere the numerator values are different and the denominator values are also different so first we will see the 3 by 4 okay so then after this one the 5 by 8 after 5 by 8 there is a 11 by 16 and then uh, 27 by 32 so if you see all denominator are in a multiples of the 4 even 32 also in a multiples of the 4 so we can say all we will make it in a 32 means higher denominator equal to the higher denominator denominator so 16 we can convert in a 32 so to 16 to the uh, converting to the 32 means we have to multiply by 2 here okay so that same 2 we have to multiply in numerator also okay so 11 mul multiply by 2 means 22 and here the 32 okay so now we can compare these two okay same like this one 5 by 8 also we have to convert to the 32 8 4 the 32 so here we have to multiply by 4 and then same number we have to multiply in numerator also okay so this comes the 20 and in denominator that is a 32 now 3 by 4 so 4 we can convert to the 32 for this one we have to multiply by 8 so the same way 8 we have to multiply in numerator also so 3 and multiply by 8 means here the 24 and then denominator is 32 now we can compare this uh, four fractions okay so i just make the rounding so now all the denominator 
having the 32 numbers okay means the same denominator now we can make a comparison on a numerator basis so numerator is higher number means that fraction is higher now in this one 27 is a higher means this fraction is a higher one and here the 20 is a smaller number so this uh, fraction is a smaller one so now we get the smallest here and this 20 by 32 means 5 by 8 this is a correct and this is given in option number 2. Now exercise 15.1 which is available on page number 255. So there is a question 1. 11 by 16 is greater than box is there and uh, divided by 11. So here the denominator is 16 and here the 11. So how we can compare because here one number is missing and that number we have to find out. So to make it comparison we will make the same denominator so 16 has to and here 11 these two numbers has to convert in something same numbers okay so best way we will multiply by here 11 and we will multiply by here 16 so 11 by 16 this denominator we will multiply by 11 the same number we will multiply in numerator also okay and here the sign keep it as it is here box keep it as it is and now here 16 multiplied by 11 so that number is comes the uh, 176 so here also 176 we have to bring so to bring the 176 here 11 multiplied by 16 we will do so this 16 multiplied by on numerators the same on numerator also side so here 11 multiplied by 11 means 121 is greater than here 176 in denominator now both the denominator are the same so in numerator 16 multiplied by something but that should be the less than 121 because numerator on numerator basis we have to uh, we are going to make a comparison now on a numerator means the numerator value is greater means that fraction is greater and now as per the sign this fraction is greater means of course this multiplication should be less than 121 and 16 in a table say 16 so 16 7 are 112 means 112 is there so this value we will use means 7 should be there if we multiply by 16 multiply by 8 so that comes the 128 so this is greater than 128 121 so but as per the sign this num multiplication should be less than 121 so for this one 7 has to multiply to the 16 so means in a box we have to keep the 7 and this 7 is given in option number 1 now question number 2 if 17 divided by 21 is less than there is a one uh, flower like a symbol or we can say just for the moment that is a star suppose so this 17 divided by 21 is less than here the flower is there i just making like a star mm, divided by 21 now the denominator are the same so and this star should be greater than 71 because this is a comparison on a numerator basis okay and above the 17 so there is a 18 is there only because 15 17 and 16 these are the equal or we can say the less than 17 so 18 is given in option number one now question number three what fraction does the shaded portion shows in adjoining figure so if you see the adjoining figure i just make a draw here so at the center and there are the two vertical lines inside this is a shaded portion and this one also and okay this one also okay and this one means how many one two three and four so four are in shaded okay F four divided by total how many total one two three four five six so there are the six okay four by six so four by six is there yes four by six means option number two is there question number four what fraction does the unshaded portion shown in a given figure so there is a one circle is there and inside the circle there is a, this vertical line then horizontal line and then cross lines also so there are one two three four five six seven eight so divided by eight means in denominator there are the total value is eight and then shaded portion this is a shaded okay then this is also shaded and this one also in shaded after this one these two are in shaded means total one two three four five so five are in shaded so five by eight is there so 
these are the 5 by 8 in shaded and 1, 2, 3. So 3 by 8 are in unshaded. So this is a unshaded as per the question. So this is a 3 by 8 means option number 1 is there. Now question number 5, which of the fraction means 1 by 3, then 1 by 9, 1 by 5 and 1 by 6 is the smallest one. So all the numerator having the same value means 1. So comparison should be on a denominator. So if you see the denominator for the smallest one, denominator value should be greater or we can say the maximum okay so the maximum or we can say the bigger number is 9 and so that's why 1 by 9 is the smallest fraction and this is given in option number 2 so now on the next page question number 6 which of the following alternative is wrong so in question num option number 1 so there is a small circle and one quarter is shaded Okay, here one quarter is shaded, means out of this four, means total are the four, one is shaded. So, is equals to one by four, yes, this is a correctly, and we have to find out the wrong one, okay. So, option number two, if you see, there is a circle, and then vertical, and then this horizontal, after this one, this cross, and this cross. So, there are the, these two are in shaded. So, out of this eight, means total are eight. There are the 2 in shaded. So 2 by 8 means after the reduction 1 by 4 because 2 ones and 2 4 the means 1 by 4. So this is also correctly. Then option number 3. If you see here the portions uh, horizontal and then vertical. So total there are these 2 are in shaded. This one also in shaded and these 2 are in shaded. So out of this total 4, sorry total 8. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So there are the 4 by 8. So 4 by 8 means 1, 4 1s and 4 2s. So this is equals to the 1 by 2. But here actually shown is equals to 1 by 4. Means this values comes 1 by 2. But actually in an option is equals to 1 by 4 shown. So this is the, these are the different ones. Means option number 3 is a correct one and if you see option number four after the counting you will get one by four means that option number four is the correctly but we require the wrong one so option number three is a correct option now question number seven the ascending order of the fraction 5 by 7, 5 by 19, 5 by 16 and 5 by 23 so if you see all the numerators are the same so the comparison should be on a denominator basis so in a denominator the higher value means the smaller fraction so smaller fraction should become as because of the ascending order so smaller means this 5 by 23 so this should becomes uh, in a first order after this one after 23 which is the smaller one 19 is the so 5 by 19 after this one 5 by 16 and then 5 by 7 so this is the order and this order is given in option number 4 now question number 8 the descending order of the fraction so if you see all the fractions having the denominator 21 so the comparison should be on numerator basis so numerator value or we can say the numerator number is greater means that fraction is greater and this is the in descending means greater value should be first so in option number 2 if you see the greater value means 20 is there okay so that is a comes first after the 20 that is the 19 and then 16 and then 11 so this is a perfectly descending order so that's why option number two is a correct then question number nine what is the difference between the greatest and smallest fraction so from this one which is the greatest and which is the smallest that we have to choose all having the three at the numerator so for the smallest means the greatest number in a denominator so 8 is there means 3 by 8 is the smallest one and for the greatest one the number should be lesser means 3 by 2 so this is the greatest and this is smallest so from greatest to the smallest that subtraction we have to do then only we will find out the differences now here the 2 so we will convert this 2 to the 8 because here 8 is the 8 so to convert this one we have to multiply by here 4 and here also we will multiply by 4 so 3 4s are here the 12 by here 8 minus 3 by 8 so 8 is same in a denominator so 8 keep it as it is then 12 minus 3 is a 9 so this is the 9 by 8 or we can say this is also one may or after this one 9 by 8 means this is the same as the equivalent of the 
after the multiplication of the two here and here so this is the 18 and this is the 16 so this answer is a correct this is the one way or we can say 3 by 2 minus 3 by 8 so we will do the directly multiplication of each other's means here the this multiplication means 3 multiplied by 8 minus this 2 multiplied by 3 and at the denominator this 2 multiplication means 16 so after the solving 3 multiplied by 8 means 24 minus here the 6 here so after my denominator in 16 so 24 minus 6 is 18 and denominator is 16 so that is also the perfect so this is another way this is another way so for this is simple way so student can remember this one very easily because this is a cross multiplication and then sign and then cross multiplication okay so 18 by 16 means option number one is the thank you